Hello everyone, and welcome to the final edition of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. I am your host, Kane Drago. We've booked the show. It's a really random show, but we're going with it. Jericho finally gets a win. Charlie Haas defeats Christian. Of course, Tori wins again. John Cena beats Eddie Guerrero. In a We Both Have Our Rivalries on Hold match. Kane, or no, Edge, sorry, is the winner of the six-man battle royal because I didn't want to break rivalries the week before Mania and and Shelton wanted a title shot. So Edge is the new Intercontinental Champion and Chris Benoit retains the WWE title. Tournament is announced. Right. Raw wins by 40,000 going into the pay-per-view. That's perfect. I give less than a shit about all the expiring contracts because we're going to be done on this episode. Chavo's popularity actually went up from just from how good that match was. Every person in that match's popularity went up. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, no? Son of a bitch! God damn it! I either didn't rivalry in place of a match properly, or it didn't hold one of the two. God damn it. That's going to hurt my WrestleMania. Two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four and a half, five. One, three, three, four, four and a half, five. Because I, du no, I double main event hyped, that's why. I forgot about that because I was going to put everyone in rivalry matches and I or I just forgot about the man rivalries. Okay. So that's their main event. Here is my main event. So Chris Benoit is in a feud and it is with Hulk Hogan and they are going to have a last man standing match for the WWE Championship. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I really want to try and win this. We're going Armageddon Hell in a Cell. Randy Orton. John Cena is apparently already in it. Yes, he is. Eddie Guerrero. Edge. Shawn Michaels. Never mind, their rivalry is done now, so we're going Hollywood Hogan. I'm just, throw, just throwing it at the fucking wall at this point. Yeah, we'll go Rock. Rock Austin. You want a hardcore match, do you? Well, I know who I'm putting in that shit. The Undertaker. And in a steel cage match. Actually, whoa, hold on. What if I do... Benoit and Hogan still a rivalry. Eddie and Cena apparently just started a rivalry. But then these... But instead, I'm going to put Undertaker... Michaels... I don't care about this non-existent rivalry... Chavo's lower popularity, but he's still decent, and he's in a rival, good rivalry with Taker. And I want S Michaels and Taker are both Hell in a Cell as specialists, so we're going. We're just throwing it at the damn wall. <coughs> Undertaker versus Mankind is going to be changed, 
And actually, we're going to do, except he was in his Cactus Jack attire at the time, a real match that happened. Another real match that happened. A hardcore match with Randy Orton and uh, Mick Foley. And in our opening match, John Cena is already booked. We're not going to double book him. I mean, I could double book him, but it might have I could hurt the popularity of the main event. So since he's still available, we're going to go edge in a steel cage with Andre the Giant. And let's see what the hell happens. Andre beats me. Mankind beats me. Austin beats me. And Undertaker wins the Armageddon Hell in a Cell. We win the GM of the year. Who I thought they might have beat us there. SmackDown won the tournament. Oh yeah, there was a draft. <laughs> Booker T, Big Show, and Hulk Hogan. They took Kane, Chris Benoit, and Hulk Hogan. I, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we won. Somebody got hurt. Chavo Guerrero. Just out of curiosity, what, what, what was, did the final show look like? Four stars, four stars, only three stars. Really, for Rock and Austin in a last man standing match. Okay, five stars and for their, for another last man standing match. And five stars because I threw everything at the wall. And the final score was... Oh, it resets, so I can't see. Unfortunate. Well, might as well save the game. Just because. Because I won the GM of the Year award. So, since we finished that in seven minutes, I'm obviously not going to, uh, I'm not going to continue, but what we are going to do is we're going to discuss what's upcoming for a couple minutes. So what's going to happen in the coming week, in the coming week or so probably, I'm going to upload all of these videos, including the one you're, well, you've probably watched, hopefully you've watched them all now, uh, over the next couple of days from when this is filmed. Give it about a week. I'm probably going to film in the background. Excuse me. I'm going to film in the background, but give it about a week before I post anything. And then I'm going to start the draft for 2007. 2007 is going to be weird because the story rivalries are a lot different, but I want to try it out and see if I can see how I can do because I so, some of I like the roster, so it'd be nice to uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see if I can win that one. I haven't played it in a long time. I've been the last few times I did play this off camera was this one. <clears throat> so, we have one GM of the year. Um, this is going to be a shorter episode, because, like I said, where we're playing by ourselves and not watching anything, it just, we only had one Raw left, so. Um, yeah, so look for 2007 to be starting next week. In turn, well, for you guys. And, um, follow me on, tw follow me on Twitch, if you're so, in if you're a Twitch person. Uh, and like to watch live streams. I gain, I stream four days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, starting at between 10 and 10.30 Eastern. Or I had it set to 10, but then lately I've been getting on at 10.30, so I've technically changed it to 10.30 officially, but sometimes I still jump on at 10 if I'm ready. Um, but between 10 and 10.30 Eastern, Tuesday nights, we're doing Brigandine streams uh, with Right now we're doing challenge, a special challenge mode, if you're familiar with Brigandine, where I can only use monsters of a certain level, uh, or rune power as they call it in that game. Uh, and we're about to be starting a new one of those on Tuesday, as Leonia. Wednesday is chill stream, I just pick a random game and play it for a while. Uh, Thursday nights is RPG night, 
currently I'm working, I'm about halfway done, Final Fantasy 1 remake for GBA, uh, or at least half done the main game, uh, which is probably all I'll do, I'm not going to worry about doing the extra stuff, because I just did it for the story of the main game. Um, and Fridays, well tonight actually from when this is being recorded, uh, we're going to be putting a, we do Resident, we're doing Re the Resident Evil main line series, uh, 0 through 6, and, and then the remakes of at least 1 and 2, I haven't decided on 3 because I haven't bought it yet, and I heard it's not what I was hoping it would be. But definitely one and two remake at the end because I've already played the or I already bought those. <coughs> Excuse me. But first we're going zero, classic one two three four five six. So uh, yeah, so if you like Resident Evil, you like RPGs, you like Brigandine, you've heard of Brigandine and like that, or some nights you just like to come chill and watch whatever random game I might be playing. That's my stream schedule. Between 10 and 10.30 e p.m. Eastern start time. We usually go till about 2 to 2.30 a.m. 2007 of this game will be starting, as I said, next week. Um, I'm also working on a Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories uh, recorded playthrough like this. With a modded since I stream it on it, play it on emulator with a mod that it still just drops the, all the normal cards that the American version of the game would drop you per person you fight but it drops them 15 at a time instead of 1 so it's way faster to grind so it's way more fun because I don't have to sit there and play for hours offline just to get one card um yeah, and I'm soon going to be bringing back a, a similar project to this one. Um, I did about 17 or 18 episodes, you may have come across it if you've watched the channel before, uh, of Fire Pro Wrestling World's version of GM mode, Fire Promoter. I then briefly started a Season 2 of it after taking a break and coming back to it and starting from scratch. This time, I'm going to start from scratch again, but it's going to be the proper Season 2 where I continue it on. Uh, that one won't be as frequent as GM mode here, only because uh, I do that on the PS4, and there's more actual video editing that goes in. This These GM modes, I pretty much just hit record, and what you see is what you get. Um, but those ones, I actually have to like cut and splice a few things together, because it's edited through the PS4's editing software um, so that takes a little bit longer to do and also I, w I usually watch at least one usually all of the matches for that and do commentary for them and I often for and I actually keep forgetting to turn the speed to 125 um, I usually watch it at regular speed I'm going to try to remember on the new season to do 125 because it's faster or just watch not as many matches or both but either way uh, we'll be back with those things soon, and as far as this series, look for 2007's draft episode next week. Have a good one. I'm Kane Drago. Peace out.